In the past 30 days, this kids animation story channel has earned anywhere from 4 to $66,000 with their faceless videos. And getting started with this type of channel is actually easier than you may think, which is why in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can do so. So the first thing you'd need to do is generate the scripts for your kid's animation. Now you can go about doing this in two different ways. The first way we'll go about doing this is by using ChatGPT to assist us. Now once on ChatGPT, what you want to do is ask it this prompt, which says, write me a short kid's animation about, and then you give an explanation of what your story would be about it can be a brief explanation or a very specific one the choice is up to you and then it continues the character should be and then you say the type of characters you want in your story now note well this is a kid's story so you typically will see characters like humans animals sometimes even furniture and other types of inanimate objects so what you want to do is go ahead and fill in this prompt so as you can see what i've written is this write me a short kids animation about making friends by being nice to people the character should be farm animals now something else you can include in your prompt is this which says only include number of characters so if you have a specific number of characters you want in your story just write this prompt and say how many and then the final thing i love to add into this prompt is this which says that takes place in one scene background now the reason why I like to add that in is because if you don't add this in oftentimes ChatGPT gives you a story that takes place in multiple different backgrounds and for each background you need to generate that so if you want to make it easier for yourself when it comes to generating this I recommend just adding in this prompts right there and once you have your prompts in all you need to do is click enter and now as you can see ChatGPT has gone ahead and generated us a very nice short little story that we could use for our animation now the second way you can go about generating this kids animation is by coming to notepad or google docs and then writing out your own story by yourself so this is if you want to use your complete creativity in this process then you can do that and go ahead to generate your own story now whichever version you choose whether you create your own story or you use ChatGPT's story once you have your story done it's time to move on to the next step the next thing you want to do is generate the voiceovers for your characters in order to do this you would want to be using 11 labs you can find a link for 11 labs in the description of this video now before you can actually go about generating the voices you need to know exactly what characters are in your story so you'd want to come back over to ChatGPT and then just take a brief look at your story and see the different characters you have so just by looking at this you can see we have the narrator we have Clucky the chicken and then we have Daisy the cow so once you know this, you want to come ahead and write it in a notepad so that you know which type of characters you'll need to be generating. And now that you know this, you can come on over back to 11 Labs and ensuring that you are in speech synthesis. What you want to do is come on over to where it says settings and then you want to click on this small drop down arrow and then you want to simply go through the different voices that it's given you and listen to all of them and then see which one would work best for each of your different characters within your story. So now as you can see, I've selected three different voices, Dorothy, Gigi, and Mimi for the different characters that I will be generating. So let's just take a look at what these voices each sound like. Let's hear Dorothy. Ideas are the beginning points of all fortunes. She sounds like she would be very good for the narrator of my story. And as you can see, she is selected for children's stories. Let's listen to Mimi, who's the cow. If opportunity doesn't knock, so this is our cow and then for the clucky the chicken we have the voice of Gigi. Happiness can exist only in acceptance. So as you can see I've selected three voices which I think are perfect for my kids animation story. Now once you have the voices down you need to begin generating the voiceover and in order to do this it's very simple. So the first voice I'll be generating is Dorothy which is as you can see the narrator. So I'm going to come back over to ChatGPT and here where it says narrator I'm going to go ahead and copy this voice over, come on back over to 11 Labs and simply paste it in. Remember, making sure I have Dorothy selected. From there, all I need to do is hit generate. 11 Labs has generated the voice over for me. Let's see what it sounds like. Once upon a time on a friendly farm, there lived two best friends. Clucky the chicken and Daisy the cow. That sounds amazing. It's so good for kids animation. It, I love it. So once you have your voiceover and you're happy with what it sounds like, you need to download it. And in order to download it, you simply want to hit download and then it's going to be downloaded to your computer. And then once you have the first one done, you want to delete it, come back over to ChatGPT, copy the second voice where the narrator is speaking, paste it back in, and then hit generate once again. One sunny morning. 
and then download. And I'm sure you're thinking, but wait, Monique, why are we doing this one by one? Why aren't we just copying other narrator voices, putting it together in one paragraph and generating it? Doing it that way will make it way more difficult for you. Believe me, by doing it one by one, it actually makes it easier to organize the files so that you will be able to use them for later. What I mean by that is this. On my desktop, I've created three different folders for each of my characters, the narrator, the chicken and the cow. Now that I've downloaded the narrator voices, I can simply go ahead and copy them and put them into my narrator folder. Now, if we click onto that folder, as you can see, we have all the voices in their right order. So this makes it very easy and organizable. So when we need them for later on, we can drag and drop them. If you only have one folder with one large file, then when you're editing, you have to go break it up piece by piece, find the section that is whichever section doing it this way will make it way more easier for you and save you way more time later on just trust me on this so what you want to do is keep generating all the different narrator voices so you have them all and then once you have all the narrator voices done you need to go ahead to do your next one by coming to your notepad seeing what voice you had selected so we had Gigi for the chicken go to settings and then select the voiceover again this is the chicken so come back over to chat GPT see everywhere we have clucky speaking we're going to just copy it come back to 11 labs paste it in hit generate download and it's the same exact process you want to do this for all of the voiceovers for each of your characters and organize them nice and easily into a folder on your laptop so that you could use them for later and now just like that i have gone ahead and generated all the voices for our different characters i didn't even notice there was one called Wooly right there so i added him in and i have organized them all within a folder so once you have all the voices ready it's time to start generating the animation and don't worry this part is super easy super cool and super fun in order to generate the animation the main tool we'll be using is canva you can find a link for canva in the description below but once on canva in this search bar what you want to do is search for a youtube video and hit enter and then once you've done that what you want to do is click on the one which says blank youtube video and then it's going to take you to this scene so the first thing you need once you have the scene for your animation is the background of your video now based upon our story we know this is taking place on a farm land so in order to get this background what you'd want to do is click on to where it says elements and then search for exactly what it is that you want so in our case we want farmland and then once you've done that you can go ahead and click where it says graphics and then scroll through the options it gave you and choose the one you think would work best for your video you want to simply adjust the sizing of it so that it fits perfectly onto your background scenery and just like that you have the background for your animation now you don't need to stop there if you want to add in some more elements to this background you can feel free to do so so for example if i wanted to add maybe a fence within this remaining in the elements section i can go ahead and search for the word fence and then go to where it says graphics and then I can easily select one of the options and then add it into my image. I've made it a little bit more unique. You could do this if you want, but you don't need to. The choice is yours. And now once you're done with your background, wow, great job. It looks super duper boring. As a kid watching this, you need things to happen and nothing is happening there. But don't you worry, all is not lost. I'm going to show you how you can animate this. It's only take 10 more seconds to turn this into something even better. So in order to do this, what you will need to do firstly is download the background. And in order to download it, you want to click where it says share and then you want to hit download and it's going to tell you to download as an MP4. No, what you want to do is download this as a PNG and then click download. And once you have your background downloaded, what you need to do is come on over to this site called Layer Picks. I will leave the link in the description for you to use. Now, once on Layer Picks, you want to click over here where it says get started. And then it's going to take you to this page. And now remember guys, this is free to use. And once on this page over here, what you want to do is upload the file that you just downloaded from Canva. And voila, look at this. This is already way better than just a stagnant image. Now, if you like this from here, in order to download it, it's as simple as clicking exports. And just like that, it would be downloaded to your computer. But if you don't like the amount of motion it has, then you can go ahead and play with the settings on this side and then download the outputs. And now, since you've downloaded your new background, what you want to do is come over to the upload section in Canva and then upload that file that you just downloaded from Leapix. So now compare this very much stagnant image to this now movable background. 
it's that simple it's that easy to make your animation way better but now that we have our background ready it's time to move on to the next step so now we need to actually generate the scenes of our video in order to do this you want to come back to ChatGPT, read what it says and then generate that for your image so the first thing is where the narrator comes in and it's introducing our characters clucky the chicken and daisy the cow so in order to have this done, you need to come back over to Canva and search for your characters. So the first character we want is a chicken. So we would go ahead and search for this within the elements section, click where it says graphics, and then scroll through the options it gave us and choose the chicken which we think would work best for our animation. And then we'll do the same thing for the cow. So that's the first part of generating your animation adding in the necessary characters into your scene but now that our characters are in our scenery we need to animate them we need to make them move in order to do this it's very very simple what we would first want to do is click on our first character which is daisy the cow and now that we've clicked onto her as you can see this option called animate is now popped up at the top so we want to click onto this what you want to do is click over here where it says create an animation and now animating the cow is just as simple as moving it around. So what we're going to do is click onto her and simply just move her up and down like she's hopping all the way to the center till she gets a little bit closer to her friend. And now that we've done that, as you can see, here is the animation. In the animation box right here, what I recommend you do is click onto the steady option so that it hops a little bit more steady. And then if you want, you can increase the speed to make it way faster or you can decrease the speed to make it way slower. The choice is yours. And then you could also choose motion effects if you want to make it rotate, flicker, pulse, or wiggle. I recommend adding in a little bit of wiggle, but then double click on it. You want to really bring down the intensity so that it's not too intense with the wiggle. And that's how easy it was to animate this. So then I'll do the same exact thing for the chicken. I'm going to click onto it, click animate, click create an animation, and then move it a little bit closer to here. And then I'm going to play the settings again, click steady. We're going to double click onto wiggle and bring it down. And now just like that, we've animated our first scene. Now we need to go ahead to create our second scene. In order to do this, it's super simple. All you want to do is come to the bottom here where you see these three dots. And then you want to click duplicate page. And now that you've duplicated the page, what you want to do is reset the paths of your characters. So you're going to click onto this one and then this box will open. And then we'll click delete path then we'll click onto the cloud click custom and then click delete path so noting where it ended the last time we're going to go ahead and bring our characters in that same position so we can continue from that scene now if we go back to chat gbt it's now saying that a shy timid sheep named Mooly looks a bit lost who enters the scene so now we want to animate this next scene so it's the same exact process we'll go to elements and then we'll find that character we want and then add it in just like this so now we have all the characters we need for this scene we can go ahead and animate their movements for this scene and it's the same process like we did the last time and now as you can see the second animation is done now from here you need to do the next important step of your animations you need to add in the voiceovers of your character you can't have an animation without the voiceovers in order to do this it's super easy you want to come over to the upload section and upload all the voiceovers for your characters that you downloaded from 11 labs all you want to do is simply put your playhead where you want the voiceover to start and then in the section over here you want to click onto it and just like that it's going to be added into your scene so now I'll take a look at what it sounds like Now our animation looks like it's coming along very well. See how easy it is to do? You click on the character, you animate them, and then you add in the voiceover. And you want to continue doing that for your entire animation. And note well, you get to play around with how you want your scenes to go, how you want your characters to move, when you want them to speak, when you don't want them to speak. You get to play around with exactly how you want things to happen, the way you want it to happen. Have fun with this process, guys, and really let your creativity shine through. And just like that, as you can see, I have finished animating my videos and adding in the voiceovers but once you're done with your video you need to just do this one last thing which will really make your video viral quality 
And that last thing is simply adding background music. In order to do this, what you want to do is come on over to pixabay.com. Now, once on Pixabay, what you want to do in the search bar is search for what you're looking for. So in my case, I want some music to do with children. So I'm simply going to search in the word children and then in this corner here, ensure that I have music selected. And then as you can see, there's over 1000 songs that I could choose from. What you want to do here is play the different songs and find one that you like. And once you do, you'd simply want to download it to your computer. And then once you've downloaded the background music to your computer, you want to come back over here and upload it onto Canva. And then once uploaded onto Canva, you want to ensure that your playhead is at the beginning of your scene. And then once your playhead is at the start, you simply want to click on the sound that you want into your video. And once it's in there, you need to click onto it and then click onto this volume and reduce the sound because you don't want this to be too loud. If it's too loud, you can't add the voiceover and then it's going to be too distracting. So put it as low as you can. And then once you've done that, your video is complete. All you need to do now is download it. In order to download it, you want to click where it says share, click download, and then ensure MP4 video is selected, hit download, and then your animation will now be downloaded onto your laptop. Now, PS, you can edit this even further by adding text, sound effects, more icons, the choice is yours. But keeping it this way is more than enough to create a good video. But don't take my word for it. It's time for you to see what you've been waiting for. What does this even look like? Well, here's the results. Once upon a time on a friendly farm, there lived two best friends, Clucky the chicken and Daisy the cow. One sunny morning, Clucky noticed something unusual near the barn. Hi, I'm Wooly. Hey there, Wooly. Welcome to our farm. I'm Clucky, and this here's my best friend, Daisy. Would you like to join us for some fun? Clucky and Daisy knew that making friends was as easy as being kind and welcoming. Round of applause, guys. That is it. That is our quick little animation and it's so good. And I did this super quickly. Imagine if I actually did put more time and effort into it. What did y'all think about this method? Did y'all like the results? Let me know in the comments down below. Now guys, not well, the more animations that you create, the better your videos will get and the easier the process will get overall. And soon enough, you'll have your own good channel up and running. Just make sure to be unique and be consistent. So now you know how you can get started with a channel like this, so go ahead and give it a try. Or if you want to learn more from me, then you need to check out this other video on my channel.